We call this event the Big Fix. It's made possible by the donors of Furbish Thrift. It cost us about $40 per cat to do this. Trappers go out several nights before this event trapping the feral cats, bring them to Furbish Thrift. We put them in our thrift store truck and we bring them here to Hanover to the clinic where they receive health care. It's a him. He has another bad mouth, but not quite as bad as the rest. I'm sorry. Most of these cats are truly feral, meaning they haven't had contact with human beings, and so they are not tame and they're not domesticatable. He's a little dirty. Give him his rabies vaccine. Any wounds are taken care of, dental problems. <laughs> they're spayed, they're neutered. Like I said, they breed very, very rapidly. It definitely can help to control overpopulation in different areas because that is certainly a big problem with feral cats. He is a handsome little guy. You're a good kitty, aren't you? Mm-hmm. It's a critical part, not only of control, trying to control the population of feral cats, but to stop the spread of disease. Not just fleas, but also infectious diseases and things like that, um, including rabies. So um, definitely good to get these guys as healthy as possible. Thank you, Evie. The people who trap these feral cats will retrieve them and take them back to the areas where they were trapped. And that's the best process to have because these, for the most part, are not cats that will, can be domesticated. They're not people's pets. These are animals that were born in the wild. And so this gives them a chance to continue to have happy lives, be a lot more healthy, and still be in a situation that's, you know, as, as low stress for them as possible and safe for other people. This is the only time that most of these cats will ever be in a vet's office, probably for their entire lifetimes.